Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Glitchcraft where um, I've I've gone over what I was gonna or I planned to do after last episode and we have a area to work in. So I think I might have edited it out of last episode uh, just because it was kind of a part where I was babbling on, but the um the reason obviously we did the pink slime spawner uh, in the previous episode was because pink slimes are an extremely useful thing when it comes to making laser drills, and I like laser drills. I said originally I wanted to do a hundred laser drills, uh, a ten by ten of laser drills. I then said I might go with chunks. A laser drill setup will have the laser drill in the middle, this here, and these are the four pre-chargers here. So essentially this is a five by five area. So um, basically, the thing we're going to have instead of like three chunks or a hundred, but uh, ten by ten is going to be sixteen by sixteen, which is five chunks by five chunks. So one chunk is sixteen blocks by sixteen blocks. Uh, so five of those, so five chunks will be sixteen worth of uh, things, which is two hundred and fifty-six laser drills, um, which is a lot. <laughs> That's how many laser drills we need. We then need four times that, which is 1,024 laser drill, drill pre-chargers, and then we need nine pink slimes for each pre-charger, which means we're at, I think, if I did the math correctly, 9,216 laser drills. Or, or, or not laser drills, pink slime, which shouldn't be too difficult. I think we're at like 3,000, no, 2,500, 2,489, so pretty close. Um, and then we're also, as I said, going to fill up the entire of those five chunks, now that we've decided it's five chunks, uh, in the sky with solar panels. And I've chosen to come over here because I wanted it kind of to be a bit far away because it does, will lower my frame rate a bit, and I don't want to, you know, screw over the other guys. Um, but over here, this is sort of its own little mushroom island, I guess. Um, like, it is somewhat connected to this one, I guess, and you guess, like, you could also say it's connected to this one, but it's more far away and on its own. I wanted to keep it in a mushroom island because I don't want anything spawning down there and potentially screwing anything up, um, even though I don't think it's going to happen. If I press F9, we'll be able to see chunk boundaries. Uh, this will probably work it out better, but this is one chunk, two chunk, three chunk, four chunk, five chunk. That's where that ends, and then two chunk, three chunk, four chunk, five chunk, there and then over here uh, is also the cobblestone here so the, as I said the plan is going to be go down to like probably like Y10 um, so I, it's not like janky bedrock and then uh, yeah go to like Y10 and then dig out where everything's going to be in terms of laser drills make sure I can get to the bedrock there and then um, everything like that so it's going to take a while and I just had a look we have 22,000 pink slimes and uh, we might as well go down here and uh, turn it off but that is well over how much we need we only need like 9,000 but we have the 22,000 of these so I guess what we need to do now is get on to making the patterns for these which is actually pretty easy and then we go to the molecular assembler and place those there and this should now be fine. So let's get the 256 uh, laser drills, so four stacks, and uh, see how much we need. We need quartz and we need rubber. Two things I don't have farms for, which is the reason we don't have them. So I guess I'm going to have to set up a tree farm, a rubber tree farm, and I guess I can get that quartz farm going as well. I've uh, gone and finally set those two up. We now have a rubber tree farm, and this one as well. Uh, this is the quartz berries, which is actually a bit worrying because it's not actually running right now. It was running when I left it. It's very, it's become too complicated. That'll be why. Uh, 256 of them, uh, which is going to be pretty easy. But um, yeah, this should craft fairly quickly. So we got that, and then we've actually got to think about the laser, these laser drill prechargers. So we have to get times four of those, which should just be 1,024 um, of these, uh, which uh, probably is going to first take a while, and second, we might not have everything that we need. Okay, we need qu more quartz berries, that's fair enough, but everything else, it looks like we have enough uh, to work with. So I guess what we'll do is we'll wait for this to finish. Um, which might take a bit of time, but it will get done eventually. Uh, and then 
we'll do the 1024 uh, laser drill pre-charges. Um, I'll set those up to go and then during that time we can go set them up, the actual uh, laser drills in the area because we need to still cut the holes in the ground uh, to the bedrock for them to work. So I'll wait for that to go I guess and um, we'll be back when it's finished. Right, so the laser drills have now been completed as we can see. We should have 256 of them, so let's get on for the 1,024 of the laser drill pre-chargers. We should have enough of everything. And uh, what was the thing we had the least of? We had quartz berries, which, or quartz berries, which we now have enough of. And we'll take those, and I guess that'll get on the crafting. And here we go. So, field of bats, as usual, uh, but that should change in the near future. And we actually got quite a lot of... The three ores which I probably enjoy finding the most, um, we found quite a lot of actually, which is diamonds, titanium, and shiny, uh, and we actually got quite a few of them, you can actually see quite a bit on the floor, around and in the walls. So we kind of got to get a start off here I think would it be, because you've got the charges there, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, I think, because I'm going to have, yeah, so going to take a while every four blocks but it is going to be worth it for us uh, hopefully I don't get these wrong um, but yeah we're gonna do this I guess and then we'll have to uh, dig the holes properly yeah dig the holes put the laser drills over it and then we're gonna have to do the pre-charges which uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue and then I will work on a way or work on the way that we're going to be powering these which is going to be a lot more expensive um, than all of this combined, uh, really. All right, so we're back at the laser drills now. Uh, it's been uh, a day, actually, since we were last working on this. Basically, it got quite late. Well, finished recording the last clip, spent a couple more hours. It got late, so I uh, kind of carried on through the night. We uh, went and got a new type of magnet, an upgraded version of the one we had, so rare earth magnets of everything is now being pulled to us, including, I think, XP as well, which is quite nice, except I keep on picking up stuff I don't want to pick up. Uh, and I've done a bit of work down here, I've cleared out the walls, and I've done the floors in a cobblestone, um, uh, like, cobblestone with dent, because I kind of like the idea of the, you can see this bit where the laser drill is going down. So I have everything in these two golden bags ready. This one contains all the laser drills that we need and the laser drill pre-chargers. And then this one contains five bags worth of uh, 256 currently tesseracts because as I said, we don't have the power set up correctly right now, but we can set up the tesseracts sending the items back. My God, look at this. This is looking good. Right, so frame rates are a bit lower down here, but we are done over here as we can see all of these have now been set up they aren't running as we said they haven't also got their tesseracts on top yet it's going to take a lot longer because i have to individually change each channel uh or each security option then which frequency it's on then it's uh got to send it to receive or send items might take a while uh, it's going to be a slowly slowly done thing uh other than that we're going to have to get onto the whole power situation but uh, it's going to take a very long time in order to do that uh, because obviously we want to utilize the entire area we have here, uh, which is the five chunks by five chunks, which as we've already uh, worked out equals um, an 80 by 80 area, which is then a total of uh, 6,400 blocks. Uh, to fill, you know, one layer of each of that, and um, yeah, we're gonna. The plan is to fill that with solar panels. So six thousand four hundred solar panels, um, which means uh, we might as well go for the highest tier, which is going to cost us a lot. And I don't even think I have. I don't even think I have enough redstone for sixty-four. Uh, solar panels because if I go solar right now Let's look at 64 of these It's gonna calculate eventually, but we don't even have enough crafting CPUs to work with that So I'm probably gonna have to upgrade the crafting CPUs again fun um, But these are the 
materials required to do this, that is quite a lot. So yeah, I'm probably going to take a bit of a break from the laser drills since, you know, it's going to take a while to get enough uh, solar panels for the power. So that's going to be uh, probably on the side for now, potentially. We might go back to it later um, in the near future, but yeah, I spend a lot of time getting the materials to make it worthwhile. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will get on to making all those auto-crafting setups um, for the whole thing. So yeah, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.